All right, so let's just do a quick review of long division polynomials. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide. So x goes into 4x squared <coughs> times plus. 4x, and then we're going to multiply. Cost, go ahead and multiply with me. 4x times x is? 4x squared. 4x times 1. What's the next thing I do? We're going to subtract. So a lot of you guys had some issues with this subtraction here, so I like to again put the minus sign, circle it, and I got to put that in parentheses. Plus what's 4 minus 4? Zero. That's 0. Mm -hmm. And then negative 2 minus 4 is? Negative 6. Then you can just draw an arrow because you're bringing down this down. So I have minus 6. And x goes into negative 6x how many times? Negative 6. Multiply, what do I get? And when you're subtracting numbers that are exactly the same, you'll get 0. Right? Think about it. 2 minus 2 is 0. So that means I have no remainder. And my answer is, if I take the... Uh, binomial x plus 1, I put into this polynomial, I get my answer for x <coughs> plus 6. If I multiply these two binomials, I get the, long, the bigger polynomial. Okay? If I ask you to factor that, you get those two polynomials. Alright, so let's make a parallel or a connection to synthetic division. Synthetic division, I'm going to take this one right here, nice and yellow. Great, smeared it. And the difference is here is <coughs> you're going to set that equal to 0. x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to what class? Negative 1. So pay attention. I'm not using positive 1. I'm using negative 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my coefficients. So I have the coefficients. 4, that's not a great marker, keep doing it, negative 2, and negative 6. Notice how that placeholder, if we need one in the future, is very important. So I have 4, negative 2, and 6. Let's write that. 4, negative 2, and negative 6. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the first term. Or I'm going to write, sorry, ZPR, zero product rule. Do you see that in yellow? Mm -hmm. I like that in yellow so you know where I got it from. And then the second thing, I'm just going to bring it down, the first term. Everyone say multiply. So let's multiply. Class, what's negative 1 times 4? So I put that over here. So multiply, put it here. Everyone say add. Uh, now we're going to add down. Negative 2 plus a negative 4. Negative 6. And then you just repeat. Uh, just repeat. Let's write repeat. Negative 1 times negative 6. And then you're going to add. So you get what? Okay, this is what I want to know. <coughs> so, you can kind of see where this is coming from. Now, this is one less degree. Everyone say one less degree. Mm -hmm. The highest degree was x squared. So this is going to represent one less than that, so that'll be 4x. And this one will represent um, x, this will just represent a minus. Do you see that in blue? Mm -hmm. And then I also want to show you the yellow. If you made that a binomial, <laughs> this would be x plus 1. Do you see that? I like that in yellow. So, 
Synthetic Division just, I think, goes a lot faster. It is uh, similar to Long Division. I'm not going to spend the time to show you exactly uh, why these steps are not exactly the same, but I just wanted to show you how to do Synthetic Division. <coughs>